new videos every day. Hi everybody, this is Gregory Gorey. I'm the massage director at the Hills Fitness Center and Wellness Clinic. And I'm the founder of Cairo Yoga. And today we're going to be doing some work on friend Julia's back. She's a therapist here at the Hills. And what we're going to do first is just move up and down these spinal erectors, feeling for any uh, little hard nodules. There's a little something right there. Coming in, loosening this up. And I'm going to do a little light stretching here. In a little myofascial release and going in the opposite direction. So I'm going to start here at the sacrum. Uh, we have spinal erectors that run up the back and attach at different uh, portions, but it starts here at the sacrum. This feels really good. We're just going to come in. Uh, we aren't using a whole lot of force digging into the sacrum. That could be a little pointy, but just some light fingertips. Both sides of the sacrum. You can even come over to the sacroiliac joint right on the edge release those attachments and coming over to the other side of the sacrum it's also really nice I personally love having my sacrum rubbed is just with a palm of your hand cupping the sacrum and a nice little circular motion. One of the things that we can do to release the sacrum is I'm going to take the sacrum, I'm going to pull it down, I'm going to ask Julie to take a big breath and let it out and her sacrum is wanting to tilt back down and I'm just holding it in place. We're gonna do that one more time, do a couple little circles, grab it, anchor it, take a big breath, and relax, and I maintain my pressure. Good. From there, we're gonna move up on top of the hips onto the quadratus lumborum attachments. Now you can't really get to the quadratus lumborum because it's way down deep. You actually have a huge thick band of fascia on top of it. But you can come up onto the top of the hip. And just get into those attachments. Feel okay, not too much pressure? Mm -hmm. Good. Again, you need to be checking in with the people that you're working on because I have met people, you know, if somebody has low back pain uh, and you start digging in there, uh, it, can, it can irritate the tissue. It should be a little discomfort is okay, but it shouldn't be to the point where they're clinching or they stop breathing. You know, sometimes you'll get somebody that's like, oh, I'm tough, I can take it or make it hurt because that's what's going to heal me. Um, I don't. I think that's uh, taxing on the nervous system and what we're wanting to do is to get the nervous system to calm down. 
So you can use more pressure, uh, but it should be within the range that your client can say soft. All right, so we're coming up now. And generally, uh, what when you're doing this kind of work, and if you've got a bunch of oil or lotion, it doesn't really matter which way that you're working. But if you have um, therapeutic intents in mind, generally you want to work down the back of the body and up the front of the body. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just going to slide down. Now I'm not working with uh, oil or lotion right now. Um, it helps me to get a little uh, deeper into the tissue, but there's certainly nothing wrong with getting some lotion. And then it can become more of a glidey uh, kind of experience, which is also quite nice. You can move much more quickly if you're using oil as opposed to working your way through the tissue. Looking for any little tender areas. You let me know if we find anything that's extra tender. Feeling for any uh, uh, differences in the density of the tissue. Come in, work these rhomboids a little bit. lateral erectors. If it starts to get too much on your thumbs, feel free to use palms or wrists or uh, fists that is. But you want to try to keep your joints aligned. So if you're doing palms, you don't want to be working here and doing that. That's going to put a lot of strain on your wrist. What you want to be doing is coming back more of a straight line. Same thing with fists. You don't want to be here. You want to be right up on top of your joints, stacking them. This is a really relaxing move. However, you have to be very aware of your own body mechanics. I'm gonna be bending over and pulling this tissue. Um, I don't know if the camera angle can pick it up, but in order to do this properly, you need to bend your knees and rest them on the table. If I can do that, then I can keep my back straight. If I don't um, brace myself, then I'm going to be bending over, and that's not going to work uh, for long. So, putting my thighs into the table, keeping a straight back, and then we're just pulling. You get the lats this way. You can, in the lower abdomen, you can even get part of the hip here. Again, you have to watch it. I guarantee your low back will start feeling it if you aren't in absolute perfect position for this move. Good. Now we're gonna get into rotator cuff muscles here a little bit. Get a little more lotion.
Good. Now we're going to get into some upper traps. All right. So we're coming up into the upper trap. Nice soothing move. Now, if you're just doing relaxation work, uh, you can basically make up whatever you want here, uh, as long as it feels good. If you're actually, if you're working with somebody that has some issues with their upper traps, um, really what we need to do is we need to bring the tissue in and back. So, we're taking the uh, upper trapezius, latching onto it, and bringing that tissue back. The reason for that is, oftentimes where head is coming forward, these muscles tighten up, and everything is coming forward, we need to bring the tissue back. So we're grabbing the upper trap, and bringing it back. Last thing I'm going to show you with this is uh, you can also get the upper trap to engage first. Uh, I'm going to need a little lotion for this. Uh, actually, there's enough lotion on here. Uh, so to activate the upper trap, what we're going to do is I'm going to put my hand right here. You're going to push your shoulder up in my hand. Uh, count of five, gentle and relax. It's only about a 20% of the effort and then we scoop it. Activating the muscle before you release it stimulates something called muscle spindles and it will help to reset the proper length. So we're gonna, uh, we activated it, brought the tissue towards the center line here. This will help with dowager's humps and we're gonna activate that one more time and relax and then we're gonna take that tissue and we're gonna bring it back. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Again, my name is Gregory Gorey. Um, check us out at the hillsfitness.com and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the links below.